Okay, here we have our scan gauge two. And I'm gonna show you how to install it on a Volkswagen Jetta, specifically a TDI, but this would probably lend itself to most Volkswagens, if not other cars. What we have here is the placement for the scan gauge. We've, they've sent you a little bit of Velcro, and we've attached that to the scan bar. And this can be done, you can put this anywhere. I noticed someone else had put it right here in front of the console, like right across here, so you can see that and the, and the dashboard. So what we wanna do is we wanna get rid of all this excess cord that's here. Um, as you see, the cord is quite long because it's kind of a universal cord. And under here on the TDI, that's the connector it needs to go to. That's the diagnostic and um, VAGCOM connector that they connected to, and I assume it's pretty universal for all cars. So on the TDIs, you have this torque screw here and this torque screw here. We've already pulled them out. You need a uh, 15 Torx to pull this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the, pull the fuse plate first. And your key works here like so. And we've pulled those two screws. And there's a couple spring clips. There's a spring clip here, spring clip here, and spring clip here. And there's one under here that we need to get. So we need to pull the fuse door first. So what we're gonna do is do this. I kind of need two hands for this, but we'll see. There we go, that comes off. And put that aside so you don't step on it. And then since we pulled these two screws, that's the only thing holding this section on in addition to these spring clips that are up top. And you just pull them straight out like this. And now that plate's off. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our connector. We're gonna attach it the way it goes. It goes like this. And then what we wanna do is get rid of all this excess cord because previously I had taped it up under here and it kept falling down and was exposed and blah, blah, blah. All right, so we've got the cable the way we run it. We've got the cable run here, it goes down here. And then all the excess is stored up in here. It looks like a little bit of it's coming up here, but it's all basically down there. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put this piece back on. Since this one has the spring clips, and we just need to find the spots. Or you just want to make sure in this VD from TDI that you VW that you get this part in first. And now we're gonna put this guy in here. We've got the cable out of the way as much as possible and hopefully not impeding and this. We snick it under the cable. And then this one is just a spring clip. And that's it. So we're gonna start it up. And there it goes. It's connecting. And there you go. 900 RPMs, water temperature at 44, and a very clean install. I just need to put those two screws back in. There's one and the other, and then uh, it's good to go.